2017, Renato Cornet will get his second crack at a world title when he meets IBF lightweight king Paul Spadafora. Renato now joins us on KO. Renato, can you tell us how you felt when you heard that you had this world title shot? Well, I felt quite excited. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've worked hard to get to where I am, and uh, this time I, I, I know I'll do it right. Did Vlad Wooden get you this fight, Renato? <laughs> no, actually, Vlad didn't do, uh, get me this fight. Uh, it was more doing with uh, with Roy, my trainer, and uh, my manager, Joe Hertzik. Do you know much about the champ at all? Uh, I've watched, uh, I watched him fight once against uh, Cardona, and uh, he's not a bad looking boxer. He boxes quite quick. He's, he's got a lot of uh, evasive moves, but I, um, I think my experience and my work rate will, will um, sort him out. No, this is your second crack at the world title. Yeah. What are you going to do differently this time? What's going to make sure that you win that title home for guys here in Australia? Well, uh, this time what I'm going to do is uh, I'm, I'm going over there positive. My last fight uh, for a world title against Jimmy Bridell, I had a hard time because uh, the promoter stuffed me around for six months. But the fight was postponed for about uh, it, for three or four times, and I uh, just dragged on for too long. I trained six months solid, and I had two days off, and I just burnt myself out. How much better do you think you are now than when you did first challenge for the world title? I feel um, heaps better because. Um, with age, I feel like you um, you pick up a lot more. You um, pick, you pick the opponent's mistakes a lot better than uh, you do as a young bloke, you know. Now you, I understand you're going to be training with Jeff Malcolm because your opponent is in fact a southpaw. Yeah, Jeff Malcolm uh, will be going down to spar Jeff Malcolm uh, in the next uh, week or two. Jeff Malcolm, if you want to spar southpaw, you might as well spar the best in Australia. And I, I believe uh, Jeff Malcolm's the best in Australia, so. I feel like um, it's all coming together great. Do you have any concerns at all fighting a southpaw? Well, I've, I've sparred a lot of southpaws. I've, I've fought a lot of southpaws as well. Look, um, when I stuck my sternum up uh, against the Fijian, I, um, he was a southpaw, and I had to beat him with a left, uh, a straight left, and I beat him with a straight left. So, I mean, if there's a way around it, I'll do it. Now, you've also been training with Shannon Taylor. How's that been going? Well, Shannon's a great sparring. Uh, he's he's great for sparring. I mean, he's strong, he's quick, he's got a long uh, reach. Uh, mate, if I can if I can handle his power, I'm sure I can handle anyone's power. And Jeff, uh, you and Renato, of course, go back a long way, don't you? Yeah, we did the Olympics together. We've travelled all around the world together, and it's great to see this guy get the opportunity. I just hope it's not an opportunity this time. This guy, I hope he um, wins a title he deserves, and hope he gets everything that is. Um, Due upon him after he wins that title, he can set his family up for life. Renato commits from the real battles of our sport and really deserves everything he gets. Yeah, Renato, you have been one of the battlers of the sport, and to to get this opportunity at this stage of your career, it just must give you that. It must be unbelievable. It must be like a dream almost come true for you. Well, it is. Uh, I've I've had uh, a lot of hard years in training. I, I work six days a week, trying to maintain a, a working life, trying to pay off my mortgage and stuff like that. Uh, I feel this this chance will be my final chance, and um, I'll make sure I'll, I'll come home with the gold. Now, just before we go, I know that you have to thank some sponsors. Yeah, if you'd like I'd like to thank. Uh, I've got a, a, a few new sponsors. My ma- my major sponsor, Sigma Interiors, uh, Milky Concrete, uh, Central Concreting, MDH Concreting, JD Cafe, and uh, one more person I'd like to thank uh, is Ray Wheatley. Ray Whitley had a lot to do with um, uh, trying to negotiate for this fight, and um, I'd like to thank him too. Well, mate, our, Alexander as well. Well, mate, our thoughts will be with you, and uh, all the very best. Thank you very much. Last Monday night at the Wyong Leagues Club on the New South Wales Central Coast, Nader Hamden was once again involved in an action-packed showdown. This time, he was facing Queenslander Les Crow for the IBF Pan Pacific title. Yeah. Let's go try to fight fire with fire here. I don't know if that's exactly a good game plan against Nader Hamden. He's launching himself across the ring at his opponent. Nader's going to set himself. Nader's in the EGC show that he's the best in Australia at the moment. And he needs to go to see if he can get the He's Nader. He's an unloading. Let's go. What a combat this at the moment. He's in all sorts of trouble. Good work right here. 
the knee of Hamden. Good power in that shot. On the legs grow, it's taken a lot of punishment. Went upstairs and to the body as well. Yeah, Jeff Benny speaking to his man and put the words in there and he wants to go and put it in both hands. Not just the right hand, he wants to stay using that left hand to the body as well. Left hand from Liz Grove. Well, let's go for him making this contest. Fans getting involved, loving the action here on Big Time Boxing from the Warren Leagues Club. Big right hand from Lana Hamden. Your pass is taken on the gloves, John. Southpaw Liz Grove. Now on the receiving his hand, the catches are going to look him off, and Crow comes back on the left of his own. Very nice, that hand of his own, and yes, Crow. Yes, Crow had a little bit more power, he gained a little bit more respect from Lady Hamlin with those sort of shots. And he's going to come off that jab. Funny shot from Lady Hamlin. He has a nice combination from Lady Hamlin. Coming on top here. Hamlin coming forward now. Trying to find an opening. He's beating. Good point. He's trying to find an opening. He's landing here. Early stages of brown number nine. Beautiful work there. Oh, look at beautiful. That's great. Coming on strong here. Round number nine. And then, round of three to two. You see that really funny of respect here from Mater Handed. That's fun ahead of Mater Handed. He's fighting back strongly as this guy. He's coming on in this contest. Great fan from Les Crow as well. Crowd getting involved. Up and down a scoring punch also. They know when they fight Les Crow, they're in for a hard fight. Big right hand from Nana Hamden. Look, Les Crow off balance. He's in some trouble here. He's covering up. He wants to grab hold. But he's getting very fatigued. Nana Hamden can sense victory coming here. Les Crow is being brave. He's stuck with his dragon chair. Yeah, let's go see if you're lost a little bit of equilibrium in there. Concluding stages of round number 10 inside the last 50 seconds. Nader Hamden coming on strong. And certainly, that was as close as Nader Hamden has come to putting this crow on the canvas. Yeah, and he's still scoring in perfect bunking shots. There's a nice left from Nader Hamden. Oh, the fires back a right hand of his own. And Les Crow is in trouble. Yeah. Left hand to grab the attention of Nader Hamden. So plenty of guts. This is fantastic work from Les Crow. Let's take nothing away from Nader Hamden. But Les Crow has brought plenty of guts to the table tonight. One of the most courageous performances we have seen in five years of big time boxing. Have a unanimous points decision. George Robert Hunter scores the bout 119 110. Judge Max Scanlon scores the bout 119 110. Judge Billy Mayle scores the bout 120 108. Your winner and new IBF Pan Pacific Junior Middleweight Champion, Nada Hunter. And a great fight there. And Jeff, what was your post-fight analysis? Yeah, well, look, at the end of the day, we were very, very happy. I thought it was Nader's best performance by far. I think he proved by a miracle mile that he's the, 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 the most entertaining fighter in the country. He's improving all the time. It's been a pleasure. And just to George Costa, you know, the uh, fish markets, the king of the seafood down there, I want to thank him for his great sponsorship for that fight. And Electra Air, who had sponsored the fight with the uh, Costi. So, and, you know, with their help, the fight was a huge success. The people enjoyed it, and Nate is improving, and then that'll get him a world rating. And now we're going to um, set some new goals for the year 2000, but that was certainly a great fight to watch. Now, Crow was obviously our class, but I tell you what, he rallied a couple of times, didn't he? He showed tremendous heart after the fight. I mean, the crowd were cheering for him, eh? and they went from cheering for Nate early to, to cheering for the underdog, which we so often do here in Australia. but it was a great show of uh, courage by Crow, but the performance of Nader in it was first class. And um, Nader uh, is certainly um, going to improve in the year 2000 and go hopefully to where he wants to go. David Birchall, who's been working the Team Fennec Corner for quite some time, made his pro debut on the undercard. We have that fight in a moment, but first it's the rampaging Skinny Hussain. <laughs> Hussey has seen his brother shouting instructions and encouragement from ringside as well. Good right hand. And now a big body shot grabs the attention of Muhammad Galil. Galil still came up with a left hand of his own though. Big right hand from Skinny Hussain and Muhammad Galil. 
Ahmed Khalil is down and in some trouble. That was a big shot. He's unsteady on his feet. Well, he's been looking at him to the audience. And then all the way to the audience. And that's it. The referee's stopping. Charlie Lucas there. has seen it up. He waves it away. First round knockout for Skinny Hussain. There it is in replay in case you missed it. How? Right on the point of the chin. What a beautiful shot. Made his man miss and made him pay. Gives you an idea of the power this young man has at 55 kilos. Knocking out an experienced campaigner who has had 34 fights and never been stopped before in his career. And here he is suffering in the first round at the hands of Skinny Hussain. Well, that just goes to show you what sort of power Nadal Hussain has. Longer the fight goes, the better it's looking at the moment for Dean Cambridge. Well, Cambridge is picking his man off. He's, he's doing a great job of it. You know, every time David Virtue comes in, you know, he's trying to load up those big bombs. Cambridge is he's, he's coming up with two and three short, sharp punches. That's where Dave Virtual does his best work at close quarters. He continues to throw leather. He has a better work rate than Dean Cambridge in place. And that, no doubt, will be noticed by the judges. But I'm sure, that's for sure. But I mean, uh, Cambridge is, is grabbing on, he's holding on the outside as he is now. And he's not allowing David Virtual to work. And they're, they're good, smart moves. Nice shot there from Dave Virtual. Draw us the appearance of Jeff Bank in his corner. And Cameron oh, is in some trouble, he's gone down. Combination work here from David Birchall and on debut. He comes up with a knockout victory over the undefeated previously, Dean Cambridge. Yeah, that was a beautiful attempt. And they couldn't clean on the button. He was in a lot of trouble. But the referee, he did the only thing he could do, and that was stop the fight. Well, perhaps against the run of play, so to speak, David Birchall has come up with some very big, solid blows here in round number five, and he's victorious on debut. What a way to start his professional career. And Jeffrey, uh, Dave Birchall, they're able to turn the fight with one punch. Yeah, definitely. So, look, he wasn't losing the fight. It was very, very close, but it was a little bit messy. It was his first fight for a long time. Two years ago, they said he'd never, never ever do sport again. Two years later, he's there winning his first pro fight by knockout. It was great to see. He's a great kid. And the deal is saying, one punch knockout power is still there. He's awesome. We're just waiting for the world title chance for him. Yeah, I just wanted to say about Nadell, I guess next time you'll be looking for perhaps a, a tougher opponent. Yeah, Matthew, um, I think I finally found the right opponent for you. It was Nadell's last one. Good on you, mate. Thank you. And this is KO. We'll return to see what's coming up over the next week right after this break. But first, see if you can answer this question.